I'm going to be sharing with you guys. We cut our baby's hair. Yeah, we did. I know a lot of you are going to be like, "Hey, you cut your baby's hair this early? Why did you cut it?" Like, there's a lot of story behind it. Baby, you make me a whole lot better. I'm a bit hyped today and I'm feeling a little excited. I don't know why. I'm just like, I mean, it's good to be in a good mood, you know, so I'm in a good mood today. Ignore the sound you can hear in the background. Though. It's Daisy that is having her time. She's trying to sleep and trust me, I've been trying everything for her to sleep. I turned on this. I've not started this video since because of her. I just wanted her to sleep first. But the sleep, I don't even know if it's going to come or not. So I'm just like, you know what, I'll start. She's still here trying to sleep so let's just see my workout probably before i'm done doing this intro she would have gone to sleep so yeah how are you guys doing thank you all for all you guys for the massive love and consistently watching our videos hi god please you guys just hold on mm. so yeah guys um today's just going to be like a short vlog just show you guys let me off this thing since she's no more in the bassinet so I'm just going to show you guys um, a little bit about what I'm going to be up to today. The house is in a big mess. I have to like take care of the house, arrange some of her clothes mainly though, because you know, washing and ironing and folding is just like a whole lot. Trust me. Let me give her pacifier. If that will solve the problem. In this vlog, I'm going to be sharing with you guys. We cut our baby's hair. Yeah, we did. I know a lot of you are going to be like, hey, you cut your baby's hair this early why did you cut it like there's a lot of story behind it first of all i and hubby already had an agreement like even before we had the baby like we wouldn't want our child to grow with her bad hair which we wanted to actually cut the hair at maybe when she's six months but we just want to cut it in a stage whereby before her one year birthday um the hair is going to grow back yeah if it's a boy now there's no big deal about hair growing back or not you get so we wanted to do that before her before her first birthday so that it will grow back and she'll be able to like use her hair for it and all it's actually our own personal belief is a convention we have on our own that we do not want like the best hair to like you know there's no big deal everybody has their own ways of doing things so you don't have to criticize criticize us for what we believe in and yeah you also have your own belief if you don't feel like it's it's something you want to do or it's something that should be done you get so yeah we decided to do that but unfortunately we had to do it earlier earlier because she started having cradle cap so cradle cap is like a situation where a child's head is kind of having like dry skin and start peeling i'll show you guys the picture of her cradle cap and how, what it was like Trust me, it was a little scary at the beginning. I had to even like, you know, I called the hospital, I told them about it and they were like, it's no big deal that kids do have it, but we'll have to look for a way to make sure we can like oil her hair. And she had, her hair was really full, like her baby hair was quite full. So she was always putting her hand in it and dragging it, you get. So we decided that, okay, since we already had it in mind that we want to cut our hair in like two months time or three months time, we could just do it now. Since we're just indoors, we don't go out. We don't start going out. So before we start going out, the hair would have like grown to an extent. And also it's winter. She can always use a cap to cover her head and all that. So yeah, we just came to a conclusion and decided to cut the hair. So yeah, Hobby did the cutting just held her down and she didn't even cry at all because once she's once she's sleeping like this and trust me you can make any noise you want to make or do whatever she won't even cry she mama days i'm talking about you that you don't cry and now you're falling my hand so yeah she wouldn't even cry and all that so yeah that's it guys we had to like we cut the hair <laughs> and um, we also pierced her ear so her dad actually pierced her ear. The thing is, we live in Japan, and in Japan, in Asia, they usually do not pierce ears for their kids until the kids are grown up, and they are the ones that decide themselves that they want to have their ear pierced. So, like, 
you don't see kids going to school with like pierced earrings and uh, pierced ear is like when they're in high school before they can make that decision but for us in nigeria if you're from africa you know how we do it in short seven days kids do pierce their ear for their naming ceremony which is seven days so that there's no big deal about it i don't know how my ear, ears were pierced my ears were done when i was born so yeah that's it so yeah we wanted to do it in the hospital went to the hospital they said they're sorry they can't pierce for us because they don't do it and everything I'm like okay my husband was like let me check amazon for piercing kits so he checked amazon because we feel like when she gets really old I, all these things start becoming like so painful like i can she will literally scream at the top of her voice and you see her in pain so doing it now that she's really small is is kind of okay you just use breast to bribe her and she'll be good so we got the kits on amazon and it was delivered like just the next day and hobby did the whole piercing i was so surprised i was so confident in doing it because eh? me my mind i was scared <laughs> so yeah he, he did the piercing and he got it really right because i was scared of like not getting the right place but the piercing kit we got came with like a marker you could just mark the spots compare it and make sure it is okay and then we pierced it and we've been treating it since and actually now the piercing is actually good it's just two weeks piercing is so good there's nothing that needs to be done but i just still turn the earring around i apply like cream to it like vaseline or coconut oil just to like make that place so that that place doesn't feel so dry so yeah that's like life updates and that's why we cut our baby's hair i'm going to show you guys it's sucking passive i'm going to show you guys later so guys this is what it looks like after we cut our hair the cradle cap has started going like little by little if you can see it's like way better than initially i forgot to like make a video of what it looked like at the beginning when we just cut our hair but yeah it's beginning to clear off it's just the front one that is still a little bit much because it was all over our head before so what we used was we used coconut oil and um, and you don't just comb it out when it's still like really hard and stuck to our head you need to wait until it is soft like you can see it's a little bit coming out like it is spilling off that's when you kind of comb it out and you comb it out when our hair is wet or when you apply the oil to our scalp so that's basically how we're treating the cradle cap now you can see that it has gone our head is like looking really clean and our hair started growing back it out and um, just allow hair blow our head as well so that is it So you guys, she's sleeping already. I don't know if you can see her face. Mm. She is though. I'll soon go and put her down because she has weight my back. Ew, I can't. <sighs> so let me just you guys. <laughs> so look at this. I bought this mannequin. This one you can use to practice how to how to make hair. Put it this way, move this door. This one you can use to practice how to make hair. So I got it and Hobby didn't know I have it. So so the thing is, before I moved to where I'm staying now, when I used to live alone, I used to make hair for people and I'll collect money. I know how to make hair like really well. The next thing, yeah, that I can collect money for it. Yeah, I know how to make hair that, that much. So i used to make hair dear then like i used to braid and do all sort of styles like my weekend saturday and sunday were like almost booked every time here you go though using my phone to vlog sometimes then let me see if i can put it here okay i think it's better so yeah you guys <sighs> I used to like make hair there now, make hair for people and all that. So the time we moved to this place, this particular area we are staying, we don't have a lot of black people. In fact, I can just say hi or be, and a very few people are the ones that are black here. Yeah, I, can, I can count the number of blacks. We're not like up to 20, maybe like 10 people in total that are here. So because of that now, I haven't really been getting a lot of people to make their hair and collect some cash. So I've just been there. So recently, I noticed that there are a whole lot of new styles out there. It's no more the way it used to be like two years ago when I was in my former area 
where I used to like make people here because that place they had a lot of foreigners there. So I decided to buy this. I got this from AliExpress so I can start using it to like you know practice new styles that are out like knotless braid. Although now I know how to do knotless braid, but yeah, I just practice other things that I have. And I decided to get kinky hair because a lot of people are now on natural hair. So this would like give me an insight on how to like make natural hair and make it look good. So yeah, hobby came in you know, to the bathroom area, this place I am. And I kept it up. He didn't know that I have it. He saw it. You see the way he just came and said, He didn't tell me you bought mannequin. You want to kill me? You see the way I was scared. Like, ah, whose head is this? Thank God. I laughed. You guys needed to see his reaction. So I want to wash it, like, wash it well then dry it and then start styling it and learning how to make new hairstyles and you guys if you live in japan you want to make your hair you're in kanto area you can send me a message and i'll tell you guys what to do how to locate me and i'll make your hair for you yeah so let me go and drop this girl oh, oh, my jolly, oh, my jolly. Every time I come around you, baby girl, something doesn't feel the same You said that I'm changing, but it's really you, I see how you play those games Wifey type for a main man, a queen can make moves, a king can't yeah, yeah. Snatch you up, now you take it Guys, madame is awake, days has woken up But yeah, I'm glad I've been able to do a couple of things before she wakes up Baby girl is awake Set you up now, you take it. Gave you bricks now, you build it. A wall up, wall up. Lately, you and I've been all up, all love. I don't know what's up with our love, our love. You forgetting all about us, about us, oh. Majoli, oh Majoli, where are you when I need you the most? You still am my This is murder, heart is melting, girl, you got me. So guys, I'm finally done with everything I have to do for now. Like, not super done though, because the clothes, I'm not done arranging them and keeping them in like their place. I've done a little bit of it and it's still remaining like half of it. Like, Daisy's clothes are so difficult to fold. They're really tiny. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'll just finish that up. But I'm done like folding them just to keep them in the right places. Um, Yeah, I brought her out to the living room to sleep because I wanted to cook and the kitchen is here. So I didn't want to leave her in the room. She's been really nice. She's been sleeping and that's been cool. I took a short nap, like really short one because I was feeling tired just like for 20 or 30 minutes and then i woke up and continued so yeah basically that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and also i just finished making dinner i showed you guys so yeah that'll be it for today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe guys bye, -bye.